So, uh, this is one thing I want to talk about. Uh, so, if you guys don't know, uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm guilty or ashamed of it, but uh, when I first started streaming, I that the game that I streamed was Genshin Impact. So, I started streaming probably around December of 2020. I think 2020. Yeah, I believe 2020. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I believe so. And... And the thing is that I was, um, I was, I was playing a lot. I was playing a lot of Genshin Impact and I did sort of pay to win for sometimes, uh, some, some, sometimes, not all the time, but with characters, especially when Zong Lee came out. When Zong Lee came out, I, I got him to a T, not T, uh, Constellation 2, I believe, yeah, Constellation 2. But yes, yeah, so I spent about $800. I'm not happy. I'm not proud of it. But uh, yeah, and then um, when the anniversary came out a year later, that's when I stopped playing Genshin Impact. I believe the anniversary is garbage and I hated it. And I believe Genshin Impact just don't care. Just don't care about their fans at all. I heard Honkai Star Rail is doing really, really well. So I heard uh, Zenless Zones uh, on the other hand isn't doing that well compared to Honkai Star Rail. But uh, I did play Zenless Zone Zero, I, I, I basically just quit. I didn't really like the game too much. I hate the TV screen stuff. But the thing is, Genshin Impact has been receiving a lot of, um, how, how can I say this? A lot of uh, backlash as of late, right? So um, if you guys don't know, uh, Genshin Impact uh, recently, uh, there, there was a lot of a uh, lot of articles that came out saying that how um, Genshin characters are not dark enough, right? Genshin characters are not, uh, they're not. There's, there's no black people in Genshin Impact, right? That, that's basically what they're saying, and uh, yeah, there aren't a lot of dark characters. I would, sh I would say Shin Yan. Shin Yan is a dark character. Here's the thing. I, I haven't played any new characters afterwards, so I saw so I, I don't know. Um, but Shin Yan, I would say she's um she's pretty dark, but she's not like black, right? Uh so I I guess there's a lot of people who are getting really, really upset. So if you guys don't know, here's an article right over here from IGN. It says Genshin Impact voice actors join in criticism of upcoming Natlands region's character designs. Genshin Impact uh, region is the latest to be criticized for cultural appropriation. So let's see what's bad about it, right? I haven't played in a long time. I haven't played in like three years. So Genshin Impact is facing more accusations of a cultural appropriation and whitewashing. And some of his voice actors are asking publishers Hoyoverse to make changes. Uh, it's China. They will not do it. It's China. They will, they're absolutely not going to do it. They, they, they could care less, all right? Their, their fan base and their main player base is in China. Everyone who has a cell phone, it's, it's, it's for them. They're not going to change it. The ever-expanding Genshin Impact universe features stories and locations seemingly inspired by the real world. Similarities uh, range from the geographical of in-game settings to architecture and mythology music food and history in general these connections have been extended to a new region natlan uh which is revealed in a teaser uh, sorry a trailer release earlier this week yeah she's pretty hot uh the thing is that are her boobs big though that's 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 the real question does this look that big there that that that's a shame fan outcry stems from what many feel is a failure to accurately represent the cultures each character pulls from, including the fact that Mavu Mavukia, Mavukia, Kinich, and Ororon, who seem to be inspired by real life deities like Maori's uh, Makuhita, oh wait, Mahuika, Mahuika, uh, are all white. And country's trend in Genshin Impact has been seen players begging for proper representation i probably say that people who are begging for representation are white people i'm just calling it like i see it uh definitely white people who are playing genshin impact who feels like they need to uplift black people voices because 
because they can't do it themselves. I don't know. I'm not sure, right? Oh, here's the thing. I'm so far removed from Genshin Impact and like anime gacha games other than Nikkei, of course, other than Nikkei. But yeah, I'm so far removed. I haven't played any Hoyo game um, since, uh, what's it called? ZZZ. And I played ZZZ for like two days and that's it. And I, I'm like, I'm, I'm not playing it. Now, some of the voice actors, or some of the actors behind Genshin Impact's faces have begun to chime in. Albedo actor Ko Koi Dao published a statement on Twitter X calling for the change in Genshin Impact. I hope y'all keeping make your voices heard and I hope they listen. Uh, if a game draws so heavily from real world cultures and bases a character on the supreme deity Yoruba uh, of Yoruba religion, the characters end up looking like pale Sasuke Batman. Uh, people are absolutely within their rights to demand better representation, especially when said game has clearly stated its commitment to global audience. They're saying that they... Okay. When they say global audience, they do not mean global audience. They mean global money. They want the global money. That's what they want, right? Dow continue to help y'all keeping make your voices heard, and I hope they listen. Uh... Zeno Robinson, who voices recently released Genshin Impact characters, Sethos, also called out Yo uh, uh, Hoyoverse, highlighting a worldwide desire for better representation. If even your fan audience, your, your fan base audience, the Chinese fans are asking for better representation or a character with different shades of melanin, who are you making these characters for, Robinson? Okay, so I need I need a, I need an actual person from like China to put in that they actually want to see more black people, Hispanic people, and anything that's non-white or non-Asian characters, right? I need to see actual proof of that, right? Because if this person is saying, even if you're Chinese fans, okay, Chinese fans from America, from Canada, from everywhere us, everywhere else other than China, like when you say Chinese fans, are there actually Chinese citizens? China citizens who are actually upset, right? Global money and U.S. city audience. Yep, basically, right? A sucrose actor, Valeria uh, Rodriguez, brought more attention to the issue with a string of posts. Two, one of the compares to uh, Olo Run's appearance in Titan Forge's game MOBA title Smite. Their appearance in Genshin Impact saying, Look at what a sick job Smite did with their own interpretation. It's not that hard. Uh, it shouldn't be a radical desire to want to see yourself reflected in the media you consume. Yoimiya actress Jenny Yokobori said in her own post. Natlan hasn't been officially added to the Genshin Impact universe yet and has no release date. With there still time between now and its launch, Sinnoh actor... Uh, Alejandro Saab took note of the complaints surrounding Auroran and, and put out a request to the Hoyoverse team. I didn't know that's who he's based on. Ah, that's bad. Saab said, you still got time to fix it. It's China. They're not going to fix it. Okay. They're not going to fix it. It's China. Uh, and Yatko, who plays Genshin Impact's Raiden Shogun, also uh, added, I really hope that a video game company listens to its fan base when its valid criticism is made multiple years in a row about the execution of its research and inclusion elements aspects in their own cultures. Genshin Impact released in 2020 and has continued to build on its foundation with new locations and characters in the years since. Hoyoverse has yet to respond to calls for better representation. IGN has reached out for comment. Like I said... Genshin Impact has been out for almost four years. If they wanted to be more inclusive, they would have done it in like the second year. Like right after they released, um, what's that called again? I would say, uh, I would say probably after, uh, what's that called again? Who's that jellyfish lady? I forgot her name already. Basically after the, after the Raiden Shogun uh, release, which is the last release I played, um, that's when they should have introduced more, um, you know, more diverse, uh, and racially diverse characters, right? 
Like I said, Shin Yan is sort of dark, but not really, right? Let's say, let's say Genshin, uh, Genshin Impact characters, right? Let's go to the again, uh, their character list. Now, if you look at all the characters, they're all relatively light skinned. Okay, the darkest skin would be a four star would be probably Shin Yan, and she's like she's like, you know, a light tan, right? Everyone else is relatively light skinned. Right, um, Albedo, I don't know who the fuck, there's so many new characters, Aloy, Arlecchino, Ayaka, Ayato, uh, Baizu, uh, Tartaglia, Child, Childy, uh, all these characters, yeah, so let's say if they went, because over here, if you look at it right here, with, uh, uh, Sino, or Sino, or Deia, they look like they could be potentially... Um, Egyptian, right? Because I remember watching a trailer a long time ago with like that this character Sino. It looks like it's from like Egyptian lore, which could make sense, right? But the thing is, like I said, it's China. You're not gonna change anything that they do. All right, they don't care about you. All they care about is money. All right. Now let's say, let's say if China makes a black character like an actually black or dark skin character and that character does not sell you know what i'm talking about look if if genshin impact knew that it, it it makes sense for you to make a lot of money using um black characters they wouldn't have covered up uh t'challa right they wouldn't have covered up black panther put up uh the Black Panther poster, right? They wouldn't put a mask on that character. They wouldn't have made Finn a lot smaller in the Star Wars poster, right? And that's Marvel. Marvel has way more pull in terms of fan base than these people online who are the voice actors, right? Do you know what China will say? Hey, if these people are complaining about our characters, they're working on our characters, fuck them. Get higher new ones, right? They have no time for this garbage, right? China will just be like, who gives a fuck? Let's move on. It, it, if you're gonna boycott the game, they don't fucking care. It, the fan base is not for Western audiences. All they want is Western audience money. That's it, right? Let's look at uh, Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail characters. All right, Honkai Star Rail, all characters. Let's say, is there any dark characters? Honkai Star Warrior is relatively new, and they do not. I don't, I don't see, I don't see any dark characters in Honkai Star Rail. I don't see any dark characters other than Shin Yan, who's a dark character. All right, you, you, people can complain all they want online. The voice actors can complain all they want online. At the end of the day, the bottom line is. China don't give a fuck about you. All they care about is your money. All they care about money. That's it. They don't care. Look at okay. Look 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 at Zenless Zone Zero characters. Let's look at their most recent game that just that just came out. All right. Oh no, it's bringing to the website. Okay. Uh, not. Who? What? Care, I don't care about. Okay, I don't see any dark characters here. No dark characters here. I, I, I no. Ellen got some big. Well, Ale, 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 Alexandrina has big ass titties. All right, that does. She got big ass titties. No dark characters here. Grace Howard does have some nice titties as well. Uh, I don't want to go to jail. And uh, I don't care about these characters and these characters. These are all lollies, right? And of course, you have Nicole. No dark characters, all right? That's you're not going to change a company's outlook, all right? They're make they made billions and billions of dollars. They are not going to change, all right? You can com you can bitch, complain, moan all you want. Oh, what about my you know diversity? What about my uh my shut the fuck up? China don't give a shit, all right? If you if they make a black character, is that gonna sell a shit ton? Is it gonna make a lot of money? Is it is it going to make a lot of money if they put in a black character? I don't know. We're not sure if 
at putting in a darker skin character that's darker than Xin Yan is going to make a shit ton of money. Now, here's the thing, though. China is, diff is different from Japan. Okay, Japan knows how to make black characters in their anime and their video games, right? And I'm talking about Mr. Popo or Jinx from Pokemon, all right? Because those aren't black characters, all right? But the thing is, um, if we're talking about J China, they aren't going to bend the knee. They are just not, okay? You, the, the, the fact that the Ch Chinese government needs to okay a video game coming in. They need to okay a movie coming in. CCP is ultimately in charge here. You can't be that dumb. Black anime girls are super cute. They are. Yoruichi from Bleach has some huge titties. Damn!